Hello. Uh, good evening. Um, I don't mean to be a wet blanket, huh? um, but uh, sad to say I don't think CERT is going to be ratified anytime soon the, in Malaysia. Uh, the reasons are, uh, for me is very clear. Uh, um, the government has nothing to gain uh, to ratify CERT. Um, we, can, we can meet here all we want. We can send as many memorandums also all, all we want. Uh, Bar Council and other NGOs can, can, can write beautiful it is reason arguments, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, you know, we can send it to the PM's department and so forth, and nothing will change. And we have been doing that for a long, long time. Um, I mean, of course, you can point to me, CDOR and uh, CRC, that we have ratified. But, but that's different. Huh? I mean, who can say no to women's rights? I mean, who can say no to child rights? I mean, you know, we are not that Zalim. Huh? So, uh, and, and, and I think it looks good to the uh, government if, let's say, they were to ratify, uh, you know, CRC and uh, also CEDAW. Um, and, 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 and not ratifying CERT is, is very obvious. Why? Because uh, the power base of... Um, no, uh, BN of course by extension, is, is, is based on Malay rights uh, and Islam as its uh, official religion and, 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 and I don't think I need to elaborate as to the uh, history of how everything uh, has arrived to, to today and, and over the last two months it's very clear uh, such issues of uh, Islam and Malay rights is still very touchy subject uh, you know from uh, beauty queens to uh, Hari Raya, dog trainer, uh, video that was done three years ago to, uh, what else, I mean a surau, uh, you know, uh, being used by uh, Buddhist meditation. And um, yeah, and it's completely blown out of proportion. So uh, I think that should bring us back uh, to reality, uh, that in order for there to be um, any change, uh, any real change, genuine change, uh, there must be uh, some kind of a middle ground, some kind of engagement, uh, which I think we are very lacking. I can just give a very good example. Uh, me, for example. Um, this, uh, the, the earlier presentation done by uh, uh, Dr. Dr. Faisal is the most I've read of a Malay newspaper. So, uh, and I'm sure for most of uh, you know, non-Malays and you know, uh, middle, upper class, or the Bangsa people, uh, I'm not from Bangsa, by the way, yeah? so uh, I just like to say Bangsa people as you know, the typical English-speaking people. Uh, uh, they don't read the Malay press. I mean, we know it's there, but we don't read them. But the majority of Malay Muslims in Malaysia read them. And, and this is where all the uh, indoctrination, the fear-mongering, etc., etc., uh, will come forward. I mean, look at the, 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 the Shia uh, uh, demonizing. It's just ridiculous. It's absurd. Um, um, and, 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 but uh, people believe them, so this is a really uh, scary bit because you keep saying it enough, uh, even with, with, with the internet and uh, so forth, there's a counter argument, etc. But, but, but the mainstream press is still uh, you know, very, very dominant. So I, I think that's, that's, that's the first thing. I, uh, you know, of course, I should mention that uh, state institutions uh, from the police, the civil servants, uh, the mainstream media, the sultans, uh, Islamic authorities, the attorney general's chambers, uh, even the SPR, uh, which is the uh, election uh, 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 commission. I mean, all these structures will always support AMNO, status quo. Yeah, because this is, this is the situation since independence. Okay? Uh, the point I'm trying to bring this is that uh, 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 it, it, it just dawned upon me that, 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 that uh, uh, there was a recent incident Sorry, I, I attended a recent discussion uh, organized by Proham, um, and, and uh, there was a discussion about how to how do we move move forward uh, with EO or no EO, uh, the police is helpless and so forth. Um, and and uh, you know we all always go for all these discussions and, and we come up with wonderful statements etc 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 and that you know let's follow human rights standards blah 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 and so forth. I mean you know most of the time just switch off. Uh, you know, and, and of course, Proham's uh, discussions are normally dominated by very elderly gentlemen and datos and tansri. So, uh, but 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 then this was a little bit different because uh, Tun Zaki was there. Tun Zaki Azmi was there, uh, and Zaman Khan was there. Uh, as much as I don't like to say this, but 
But uh, when when both of them, or mainly Tunzaki, said, "Let's let's why don't we bring back the preventive uh, CPA, preventive uh, crime prevention act?" Uh, no one has heard about that act because it fell into disuse for many many years. Uh, we always have to dust a copy from our library. Uh, but you know, we found the act. I mean, it's, it's, it's not used. Uh, and lo and behold, within the next uh, one month, two weeks, three weeks, there were discussions in the press. And the next thing you know, the police are using uh, the Crime Prevention Act uh, as a method to, uh, you know, to handle the perceived or you know the the situation of crime uh, in Malaysia. So the point being, you need the right person to say something. Uh, because if you guys were to say it. It's not going to make any difference, uh, you know. Like like your wonderful video, that was a song that was sung by uh, someone. If let's say this was sung by Siti No Haliza, uh, then I think things would have been different. Uh, uh, so 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 again, coming back to the point about Tun Zaki uh, saying it, um, and of course the Crime Prevention Act is not ideal. Uh, we'll we'll come up with our position on LFL. Sorry, uh, LFL will be coming up a position on the Crime Prevention Act. But the point being. Uh, in order for something for the government to accept, it ha always have to be a compromise. Um, and, you know, because there are always power, uh, you know, struggles uh, within the police, the attorney general's chambers, etc., etc. And if you were to abolish everything totally, uh, that's not going to happen. Something in between uh, must be done in order to make sure that everyone is happy. Uh, and the other issue I would like to bring forward is that uh, I'm sure all of us uh, earlier must have talked about, uh, you know, enacting laws. Uh, you know, we should enact these laws and that laws, race relation act, and so forth. Um, again, I mean, I mean, laws are only as good as uh, the institutions that uh, enforce uh, these laws. Uh, and of course, it'd be good if, let's say, you want to do any uh, changes, there must be, you know, structures in place, laws, and 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 so forth. But, but the point I'm trying to stress further is that not everything can be litigated. Um, of course, if you, you, if you have a very um, enlightened government, you have, a, you have a leader who is a real states person, uh, then it is possible. Uh, you have uh, Nelson Mandela, for example. Uh, you know, when he came to power, he did not take revenge and uh, you know, they enacted a very progressive constitution, etc., etc. That is possible. But in a situation like Malaysia, uh, it is very unlikely out of the blue, suddenly, uh, Najib Raza, our Prime Minister, or if I said the next person, the Deputy Prime Minister, who becomes a Prime Minister, would suddenly say that, look, I'm just going to dismantle everything. Dismantle everything, all the race-based policies, uh, policies that puts uh, Islam as the, uh, you know, as a religion of the state and, uh, and all the secondary things that, that uh, surrounds race and religion. They're not going to dismantle everything because those are the things that put them in power in the first place. So that's not going to happen. Um, and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I think to, to just further bolster my point is that um, the right people has to say the right thing. So you need to engage uh, with more the middle ground, uh, the more conservative groups, um, you know, uh, try to co-op uh, some of the more uh, you know, some of the, more, the people who are closer uh, to the authorities and hopefully with, within, you know, with the enough of, uh, uh, you know, pressures uh, uh, from all sides, uh, then, then there might, some changes might happen. I mean, I can give you the example of uh, our Prime Minister who suddenly out of the blue uh, decided to abolish the ISA. Uh, he said he was going to abolish the uh, Sedition Act but uh, did not. Um, he, he abolished the uh, Section 27 of the Police Act uh, that sort of like made uh, freedom of assembly unlawful in Malaysia. Uh, but of course, you know, they did replace it with some other acts. Um, again, coming back to my point of uh, they must be, they, you know, they will try to do something, but at the same time, there must be some kind of uh, middle ground to try to offset the uh, reform that they have done. Um, how do we move forward other than this, you know, as, as NGOs, uh, as, uh, you know, in, in order for us to protect minority rights and so forth? Uh, those who know uh, LFL's uh, philosophy um, might see an underlying uh, motto, which we don't normally say, uh, 
basically we don't care. Uh, we just do anything that is right. So the right thing is always the right thing to do. The right thing to say is always the right thing to say. Uh, and because of that, we have been accused of all kinds of things, uh, you know, and uh, Dr. Faisal might be happy. We have also been accused of being Shia. So, <laughs> uh, kafir, uh, murtad, ponyokong, uh, jenaya, and, and uh, so forth. Uh, I can just give you a few examples of, uh, of, of why, uh, again, as I said, don't, I'm not trying to uh, discourage all of you from doing whatever that you are doing. It's very important because it's a, at the same time, we are also doing the same thing what all of you are doing. We are doing it within our limited capacity uh, to take each case and move forward. Uh, but the point is not to give up. Um, you know, the few examples I can give is to keep challenging the authorities. Uh, the two examples I can give uh, recent, uh, the comparison between the dog trainer, Chats uh, Masna, and the uh, Surau owner. Uh, Chats uh, got assistance from, from us. Uh, we, we challenged the authorities uh, uh, through statements and uh, legal means. Um, and, and I'm not, I'm, I'm, I would like to think that it's because of that challenge, uh, the religious authorities and, 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 and the uh, Aegis Chambers of Police seem to have backed off. Uh, but because uh, for the Surau incident, uh, he, has, he has decided not to challenge the authorities. He's uh, cooperating uh, with the Islamic authorities. He's, uh, I think he's going to probably demolish the Surau. Um, and that uh, you know, he was arrested. He did not get a lawyer, etc., etc. And um, so the demonization goes on. Uh, and, and of course, the harassment goes on. So. I'm not, I'm not saying that if, let's say, LFL were to get involved in the Surau case, the treatment might have been different. Uh, but the point is that uh, we should keep on uh, struggling, uh, keep on doing it. At, at, at some point, we hope that the cumulative effect uh, of all of us, uh, and including those uh, conservative figures, etc., etc., uh, might be able to push for some reform. Um, just, just, I'd just like to um, emphasize a little bit more about uh, uh, you know the other figures that uh, uh, we should be engaging. Um, political parties. Uh, I know some of us are quite uh, allergic uh, to the opposition. Some, uh, not all. Uh, but, but I mean, we are talking about uh, you know 50 over years. Uh, you know, uh, control of, of uh, BN uh, over Malaysia. Uh, it is very important for us to engage political parties, uh, PKR, PAS, uh, DAP, um, and that with with the uh, with the total, um, how should I say, the effort uh, by all the political parties, uh, the NGOs, etc., etc., then some kind of a reform can be done. And I'm sure because of that, uh, ISA, uh, the sedition, of course, it, might, it will be abolished at some point, but then something else might, might come up. But of course, if let's say everyone keeps speaking out against the National Harmony Act, uh, then hopefully it will not uh, come up. Um, I think that's all for now. So I think I'll be one of the first speakers that uh, doesn't extend his uh, time limit. <laughs>